Good morning, Zodiac. I still have a collective read here, the soul family read, for whoever resonates. Um, I think Terrence McKenna, find the others. Uh, manifestation, spirituality, a uh, little more than about romantic love, but love, romance, relationships, soulmates, you know. And uh, using the Gilded Tarot Royale, okay? I forgive it, darn. And I'm in the bright sunlight of Cancun, uh, going against all, um, as usual, uh, Sagittarius with the sun uh, trying Uranus uh, <clears throat> convictions, but I won't be here long. And I don't like to use sunscreen. I believe it's evil. Leave it like that. <laughs> I mean, abs if I absolutely have to be out in it, maybe. It's just like, I don't know. Stuff gets absorbed through the skin. I'm not real thrilled about using it. Or any really cosmetic products, you know, or vaccines. We won't go there. <laughs> yeah, keep it simple. So, if you're in the soul family, <laughs> welcome. Uh, it's Tuesday. It's also um, Gemini and Cancer Day. For uh, now, I have the uh, heart spread. If you have someone on your mind, and the super singles meet the soulmate reading. If you're really single, um, five readings a day, guys. Something, something for everybody. This is my soul group. You know. Uh, it's a little indulgence talking about myself here. I'm committed to this. You know, I realize probably, it, it, <clears throat> you know, it's not going to be huge. Um, but, um, you know, I just wanted to be personal here where I can be myself more and speak a lot more in terms of manifestation, my own processes, um, spirituality in my life. Um, all right, guys, here we go. Moving in, Ace of Pentacles. I like it right out of the chute. This is where our energy's at. And around manifestation, and around spirituality, love if you want, romance, what's on your mind, um, where we're at right now. And boy, that's about solid as can get. Look at just, look at that, how powerful that buck is, you know. Um, so masculine energy, even though it's an earth sign. Earth signs are feminine. It's very sincere. It's uh, solid beginning. It's uh, interesting. What what's beginning is my question. It's uh, just lime juice with stevia and ice. It's a way to survive here in the horrible tropics of Cancun. Actually, the weather's been amazing. Can't really complain. It's not that hot. It really as it looks. Um, judgment. <clears throat> well, comes before world and that's what's crossing us because I was just saying what's beginning you know something very solid I think it's this new cycle the 8-8 eight, eight lines gate the energy this year uh, it's long cycles that's why everything's so heavy so important um, and the retrogrades getting ready to roll back I'm ahead of it um, Jupiter's my boy uh, I feel like and the energy is coming coming it's still you know um, but I know like <clears throat> once it gets here it's going to be rocking. And this judgment, I think, is the card of being called up to our soul's purpose. Let's look very simple. And we're still having trouble with that. But I think we're right there. It's like we're right there. We're solid. This may be why it's still in the uh, you know, Ace of Pentacles phase, like something that's beginning. And then advice from spirit is strength. <laughs> strength to persevere. This is not hard. This completely relates to me. You know, it's a difficult place to be in, but, you know, I'm 60 years old, uh, and, it, and this really is a beginning. We're at the beginning, and this is like a hard beginning. It's not necessarily the beginning of a new thought pattern. No, it's a new beginning with life. Yeah, so, but, you know, I had Pluto on the AC, square Mars, and Mercury, and I'm used to new beginnings, you know. Um, and spirit, I want to thank spirit for giving us strength because this is, I believe, we're being given strength. And the reason we're being given strength is because we need it in order to fully embrace our destiny. Really, I think here is spiritual light workers, whatever that means to you. It might not mean much, you know, you don't necessarily have to do anything. It's just you know that if you're raising your own vibration at this very high level. I think also Leo here in your fifth house, whatever's going on there with you. This uh, offhand, you have planets there. It could be square in or anything, significant energy. But it's all kinds of, um, it kind of implies you're going to need strength. And I'm going to need strength. And I get that already. I pray guide me and protect me 
and give me strength. That's my prayer now. I really got it simple there. I mean, I surround myself with white light, white light now I'm doing it. And guide me, protect me, and give me strength. And, you know, I think that's what's happening here. Um, there's no way we're not going to make this final. We're going to rise up to this call, being called up, you know. I mean, you could say it's ascension if that's where you're at. I mean, it's clearly like we're on the verge of ascension, but and it's coming. Be strong. It's also, to me, solid, pinnacle, strength, strong. It's definitely about keep doing what we're doing, keep doing what we're doing. And what we're doing is not hitting, pounding our fists against the wall. What we're doing is the steady, good thing. You know, we're carrying water and we're chopping wood. And we're carrying water and we're chopping wood and just keep doing it. Because look at where it's going to get you. <laughs> Complete success, Ten of Pentacles energy. Soul family. High vibing here, um, people. So, um, excuse me, that might be a critter. <laughs> this is Mexico. Um, but on the bottom of the deck is kind of high net. I saw it. You know, uh, three of swords. So, um, even you could see some of the same colors coming in there. It real. This was a frame. It really bring out the blue in this three of swords, which is you know I gotta say it's a gorgeous three of swords. There's so much to it. You know, this light that comes from it, and something about uh, whatever it is that we're resisting being called up. It's because of this three of swords energy. And I'm going to be honest with you, it goes back for me to my childhood the, at the most basic 3D level and being abandoned by mom and have mom being a real new age freak, which I'm only now realizing there was huge benefits to that part of it. And my grandmother, too, who, who took much more, much better care of me initially, um, that goes back to that. And it kind of affects this ability to really sync up with the universe and trust just the universe, you know. It's like, why should I trust you, God? Everybody else abandoned me, <laughs> you know. Oh, uh, maybe that's kind of what that is. That's what it is for me. Um, but, you know, these are thoughts, though. So here we are. I mean, it's success on the verge of this new pattern. Uh, I kind of keep getting this theme of sort of like cleaning up, cleaning up the old stuff and just really getting ready. Like cleaning up the apartment or the house because, you know, we're going to sell it soon. And we're going to get like a lot nicer place. 